Hi, my name is Amir and today I'm doing a first impressions review on the Capure Total Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion from Dior. So I have the shade 012 and this foundation comes with an SPF of 50. So this foundation says it is a youth skincare perfect complexion creator, SPF 50, first Dior skincare to instantly enhance the complexion's natural beauty, offering perfect skin during the day and helping to minimize the visible signs of aging, wrinkles, pores, redness, and a dull complexion, in addition to covering spots with every application. Throughout the day, it acts on the appearance of pores, minor redness, and shine. The complexion is fresh, matte, luminous, and its tone remains flawless. Day after day, the skin and complexion are enhanced by the age-defying, perfecting, and protective properties of the skincare's SPF 50. Your complexion is exquisite even without foundation. Effective at any age for all skin types and tones, apply every morning and during the day for touch-ups alone or after dream skin. So that's what the packaging says, so I think it's time to jump into me applying it for the very first time. So I've already primed my face with the Guerlain Primer and now we're just taking the Capure Total Dream Skin Perfect Skin Cushion from Dior in the shade 012 and applying it to our face. The compact is really gorgeous, we're just going to open him up and foundations inside and let's start to apply and see how it goes on. It has a very, very natural finish, but I think it's to do with applying it with this. Um, it's not very easy to build up, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a brush because this is how I ended up liking to apply my other cushion foundation. It, I just found it gave me a bit better coverage, um, quicker. Yeah, and that's building up so much faster now. It looks very, very undetectable on the skin, which is perfect. I don't think the colour is an exact match, but it's definitely passable, which is why I decided to do it today with no fake tan on, because it was a little bit lighter than I was expecting. You can see it's definitely evened out my skin tone um, and just kind of given me a really nice glow to my skin. This is the side I have it on. It just kind of looks, yeah, glowing. It doesn't have like a huge amount of coverage, so I wouldn't recommend this necessarily for someone with breakouts, but for someone who kind of wants to just, you know, put a nice overall base on it, this has, a, you know, 50 SPF, I think that that's gonna be, um, yeah, a really nice foundation. Like me, I, I like, you know, I'd wear this on an everyday basis just because I like to have an SPF because I burn really easily, and yeah, I just, I like to have a nice sheer base, just something to blend my concealer into and everything. So let's apply it to the other side now. I've got a test here because I've got this pimple. So we'll be able to see um, how much it kind of covers that. You can see it's kind of toned it down a bit, but it definitely hasn't covered it. So that doesn't really bother me because I kind of like to go in and spot conceal over specific blemishes. Uh, just to keep my skin as fresh as possible and then just add coverage where needed. As I said, it's a very sheer finish foundation, so it's going to be perfect uh, for, I think, more mature women who have are starting to get lines. Um, but since it's a fine and natural formula, I find that they usually don't sit into those lines as much. So from a first impressions, I think it would be perfect. Um, perfect if you're concerned about, you know, like fuller coverage foundations accentuating um, you know problem areas. I'm just gonna go in and finish my makeup and be back. So now I am back, I finished the rest of my makeup. I think I look very naturally flawless. Um, I feel like it has really kind of settled into my skin a little bit since applying it. I do find that with cushions they don't always set by themselves too well and can sometimes be a bit transfer proof. So I have set my T-zone um, just so that I could, yeah, apply the rest of my makeup on top. Since it's, yeah, that kind of natural finish, I didn't want to put, you know, like too much makeup on or anything. Um, I just wanted to keep everything kind of really, really fresh. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. If you love a full coverage, you're probably not going to like it. But if you like a really natural looking light to medium coverage, I think, yeah, you're going to absolutely love it. So far, so good. Um, it definitely, I got a bit confused reading the packaging where it says luminous matte. You're either luminous or you're matte. Um, <laughs> I think at the moment I'm kind of in between, like a semi-matte. You know, there's like a slight bit of, you know, yeah, 
I mean, other than, you know, my highlight on my cheeks and everything. Um, yeah, there's just like a slight sheen to the skin and everything. Um, just so it looks really, really fresh. I do like when foundations have skincare benefits, if the benefits are going to be good for me. Some foundations will have, you know, acne treatments in them, and I don't really need that. So this one having, you know, like the anti-aging and, you know, minimizing pores throughout the day, those are kind of more my concerns. I mean, obviously, you know, I don't think I'm aging yet at the moment, um, but I obviously want to avoid aging. That's why, you know, you use anti-aging when you're younger. And yeah, so I think that that is perfect. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I think that this color, because when I um, kind of looked at the color for the first time, I really, I thought it would just not suit me, but I think because it is so sheer, it's going to kind of adapt to um, suit different skin tones quite easily. That's obviously just, you know, very first impression so we'll kind of see how it goes over the day so I will check back in in a few hours so I applied this foundation at 9 a.m. it is now 12 30 p.m. and I've come home on my lunch break to update you guys on how the foundation is going so far it's looking as though it has gone a little bit more matte which is totally fine it doesn't really bother me too much um, it's definitely not an uncomfortable matte because my skin is definitely more normal to slightly dry so it's not a tight healing matte it's like a very natural kind of soft matte finish so I think it's looking beautifully it hasn't worn away anywhere it's not sitting into any lines it's not accentuating any pores it looks absolutely beautiful still it looks amazing like definitely the finish has changed it has gone from more of that like medium kind of satin finish to like a soft matte so it has become a bit more matte but we will see how it goes now um, over the rest of the day and I'll check in again for you later Okay, so it is 7.30 in the evening, so I've been wearing this foundation quite a while now, and on my skin, it still looks pretty much exactly the same. It is slightly, like, not quite sitting as perfectly on my chin, and just, like, up here where I have a blemish, it's not sitting too perfect, but everywhere else is still perfect. You can see my foundation, like, it hasn't faded anywhere. It's looking really, really good. It hasn't gone weird in here, which some foundations will do, um, I find that's quite a common complaint that the foundation goes kind of melty and weird and crusty in there. That hasn't happened. Um, a little bit has come off my nose, um, but yeah, oh, I just blended it back out with my finger. I think not 100% transfer proof, but I have had a few phone conversations today and I always check my phone afterwards to see if it's covered in foundation and I haven't had that issue. Granted, like I don't hold my phone like this, like, you know, directly on my face. I do kind of hold it like here. Um, but even then you can see it was just touching my face and there's like nothing I mean, There's like maybe a smidge of oil on there, but there's absolutely no foundation actually on there So I kind of thought that it might not be completely transfer proof, but it seems to really be doing very well I would really recommend this foundation for anyone who likes a natural kind of finish on their skin uh, Naturally flawless. It does have that um, you know, semi-matte kind of finish to it. So even if you're oily, I do think that this could be a potentially a really good option for you. With the 50 SPF in it, it makes it a perfect everyday foundation for someone who wants to have a foundation that has skincare benefits as well. All in all, this foundation has done really, really well. I'm very, very impressed. Um, I would definitely recommend it. If you are interested in trying it, then definitely go try it out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the Cosmo D channel. Then go over and check out my YouTube channel, Amiame Beauty, for all reviews and hauls and tutorials and all kinds of things that I have over on my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!